Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very special guest, my best friend Alexa. She's standing right next to me, judging me so hard right now. <laughs> um, anyway, it's her 21st birthday and my 21st birthday is long gone. So I was thinking I would do a 21st birthday night outlook on her instead of me. Um, that way you guys can see how I do makeup on someone else and she also I've done her makeup before and she has such a beautiful face and like such like an amazing Foundation to work with no pun intended that I think she'd be perfect to show you guys What I think and how I would interpret a 21 birthday look. I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started I don't know. How you doing? Oh. <laughs> Wait, but I think I'm gonna do it without my glasses. Okay. Well, then do you need to do it again? Yeah, Oh my god. Dude, yes. that intro took like what, 30 seconds? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Seriously? Oh, there was an open banana peel on those. In it? I don't know. I'm gonna she, go. she keeps eating. Are bananas poisonous? <laughs> so if you guys want to see what she looks like in the end, please keep watching. So I'm using the Shape Tape Concealer for her eye primer right now. I love the way eyeshadow applies after you put on this concealer. I really think that it sticks the entire night. Um, so I'm using the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm giving her kind of like a warm halo smoky eye. So I'm going in with the lightest shade first and this is just going to be basically in her crease. And so now I'm going in with a little bit darker shade to make the crease even more defined. So right now it actually looks like I'm giving her a smoky eye, but you guys will see later. I use a Shape Tape Concealer to kind of create that smoky eye. So now I'm going in, I think with the second to last brown I use, and I'm basically going in the corners of her eye. Um, this is the part that really makes this halo eye pop. It kind of like is like a Sharpie around a really, really bright color. So I'm using this really, really tiny brush to kind of get really deep into those corners. Um, I don't want this brown to be that prevalent. I just basically want it to amplify the look. So you guys can see right here, I'm using this flat brush and carving out the halo eye. So I'm actually using Fix Plus to apply this really beautiful rose gold shimmer for her halo eye. Um, and so this was kind of, the lines between the brown and um, the rose gold was just too prominent. So I'm using this brush again and basically going back in with all the same browns in the same order I applied it in just to buff it out. So I'm using a Stila gel eyeliner. I'm sorry, it's liquid eyeliner. Um, I'm not doing anything special with this. I'm basically just lining her lash line, no wings. Um, so she wanted a really pretty cat eye and I thought that these lashes would be the best for her. So I'm using House of Lashes Black Glue. I think this sticks really, really well as well as the entire night, which is super important. Now this is a technique that I've kind of learned by trial and error. Um, after you apply your eyeshadow, it's really easy to get mascara if you're putting it on your top lashes. So if you kind of hold your finger under the lashes the way I did and then just like push against it, it kind of tints them more than it gives them volume, which is what she was looking for. So now I'm using It Cosmetics Brow Pencil. This is a universal brow pencil. I absolutely love it. I use it on myself. I use it on my mom. I basically use it on all my clients. So this is a color correcting kit from NYX. Um, and basically I'm just color correcting her. I'm putting a little yellow under her eye, some red where she's a little darker, and then green where she's red. So now for foundation, I am using the Fit Me Foundation in color 120. She's really pale right now. She says that she's going to be have, getting a spray tan and maybe going tanning before her party. So I'm assuming that we're going to have to use a different foundation. Um, but I'm using a damp beauty blender to, 
to um, blend that all out. And then again, I'm going back in with a sharp, with a Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Oh my gosh. Um, and I'm basically just putting it on all her high points of the face. And then again, blending this out with a damp beauty blender. So now I'm going in, I'm pretty sure this is the darkest shade of the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Um, so I like to do my nose contour a little differently on other people. I basically put one dot on either side of the nose because this is so pigmented. I don't want to over contour the nose and then I basically just kind of run that up and down and then when you apply the powder highlight it will just make everything re look really really nice and I'm also using the lightest shade in Tarte Shape Tape Concealer for highlighter. So now I'm using the Kat Von D palette using the medium shade um, and I'm basic. she doesn't really like um, a very prominent line on concealer so I just kind of did it like all over her cheeks rather than focus on the hollows of the cheekbone so I pinched my brush like this for the nose contour for the powder contour um, and I basically just go up and down on either side because I don't want that much of a chiseled nose for her so then again as you can see I'm using a flat brush using the middle shade in the Kat Von D palette and just making that nose more prominent so now I'm using the Palladio rice powder and I'm using that to bake with her because obviously this is a night look, nightclub look. So we want it to stick all night and baking will do that. So then again, I'm basically just going in with all the same colors I used on the upper lid. Um, so I'm starting with a light brown and then I will gradually go into the darker browns. So right now I'm lining her waterline. I like to use a sh an eyeshadow for this. I think that gels really, really affect the eye and make it super red. And I also like how it looks really... Kind of buffed out okay so now i'm using palladio powder again um this is a bronzer she likes to be very dewy and bronze so i'm decided to use that so now from the carly bible palette i'm taking this highlighter shade and just going into her tear duct so anyway i'm going in under the brow bone with the same highlighter and I'm also going on the cheekbones same highlighter she said she wanted a really dewy look and I feel like this this highlighter kind of gives more of a shimmer than an actual highlight so now I'm going in with NYX lingerie in color 06 I actually wear this color all the time and I'm also wearing this color in the video um, so now I'm going in with a lip gloss also from lip NYX it's pump it up and it is color PIU09. I absolutely love the shimmer. It's kind of almost the same shade except in a shimmer as the lipstick she's wearing. Okay, so now this is another trick I learned to bend the wand. It's a lot easier for application. And so I also like the Maybelline mascara a lot more than I like the, I think it's Real Technique. No, it's the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. So basically, if you just rub it on the other one, um, I like the wand of the Real Tech or the L'Oreal Telescopic, so that's what I was doing there. So I just wanted to put her hair up just to kind of get a final look, and she absolutely loved her look. I'm so happy. Thank you so much for watching. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching how we achieved this look, and I also hope you love the way Alexa looks. We're gonna have so much fun, and if you're in Chicago, hit me up. Thank you again so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe! <laughs>